Uh, so Tim is going to show us a little bit about the and other products? Yeah, so this is this is the Terranex Mini SDI to HDMI 8K. There's actually two products in this family. There's this one, the SDI to HDMI 8K, and there's also a Mini SDI to DisplayPort 8K, 8K HDR Terranex. Now, these products are designed to take in multiple streams of SDI, so 8K SDI quad here, and then convert that to, uh, to either HDMI for HDMI output onto an 8K screen, or to DisplayPort for, for output onto a DisplayPort screen like the new Apple monitor, the new 8K monitor. Now, the great thing about this is if you're working in a, in a, in a broadcast or in a post-production environment, there's a high likelihood that you're not going to have access to multiple channels of DisplayPort or HDMI, but if you're working with one of our cards, then you've got 8K output over SDI, and many other solutions will have over SDI. But to connect to a consumer, 8K monitor for 8K preview, there's a couple of things you need. First thing, you need to interface to it from a broadcast or post-production suite. So this then becomes the interface between SDI and HDMI or DisplayPort. So you can connect up like we have here the uh, Sharp 8K or an Apple 8K monitor. And the other cool thing that this offers is the ability to then profile that monitor. And what this will allow you to do is using a, um, uh, an X-Rite or similar color uh, monitor profiling system, you can take a, uh, um, uh, a colorometer, plug it into the front USB port on the box, and then this will then run through a color profile and generate a dedicated color profile for the monitor that you're using. And it effectively allows you then to use a consumer 8K monitor then as a reference monitor for post or for broadcast because you know it's going to be color accurate. So what this does is becomes a, a way to interface what is a, a relatively low cost, high resolution monitor and turn it into a professional grade broadcast monitor. Unbelievable. Yeah, these are, these are two very cool products. I mean, there's lots of other things that they can do. I mean, you can see there on the screen, you have the ability to put scopes and overlays, so you can see exactly what's happening in terms of the image that you're, that you're looking for. They have the ability to put um, 3D LUTs and load 3D LUTs into them. So if you want to simulate a particular look, you can do that either for preview or for client preview. Um, and again, you know, it gives you the ability to do that on a, on a low-cost monitor. Um, they support HDR. So again, you know, there's, there's lots of different options that you have within a small converter box that allows you to interface between, I guess, a, a relatively low cost preview monitor and effectively bring down the cost of, of infrastructure required for doing 8K production. Very cool new product. It's not new like from this week, but it came like a... Yeah, so the, these have been announced. They were announced at NAB. Yeah, exactly. um, they're still in development. Well, actually, this one is shipping. So the SDI to HDMI is available now. Okay. Um, the uh, SDI to DisplayPort will be shipping in, in probably two or three months' time. Oh, okay. that, that one is still in development right now. Oh, okay. That one's specifically designed to support the new Apple monitor. Oh, okay. So we'll be working, we're working with Apple in the development of that particular product. Oh, okay. um, but the HDMI version is available now. And as you can see, it works, it works awesome. And you know, the 8K monitors are coming down in price. Oh, yeah. um, the, the challenge is really, how do I use it? You know, if there's a demand for 8K and 8K is growing, how do I interface to that? So this becomes a really low cost way of getting I guess, professional quality images onto a low-cost 8K screen. Very cool. Thank you so much, Tim. You're welcome. And uh, yeah, good Thank luck. You. Thank you.